y'all. Coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, just as they were finishing up this 73 Chevrolet Corvette convertible I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Steve? Scotty? How you doing, brother? I'm doing good. How you doing? Outstanding. Good. It's chilly good. out here this morning. Man, I, it looks like spring outside, but it feels like winter. That's right. <laughs> you got us a convertible done, but it ain't no day to be driving right. a convertible. Yeah, I had to throw my coat on. It's a little chilly out there this morning. I know. <laughs> no, I dig this. What year is this? It's a 1973 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. Jeff, out of Speed Bet, out of Nashville, they built a, built a car and uh, brought it up to us to do a full custom interior. And when you look at the interior, you know, it, it looks like there's not a lot of work there, but man, it is so much work in them cars to try to get them to where everything fits and the final fit and finish on everything is just a tremendous amount of work but it looks good it looks right. sharp yeah no it turned out really nice it's got a modern ferrari kind of look to it right it does um he wanted a little bit of a red we're doing mo you know wanted a mostly black interior with some red accents that would really make it pop after looking through some stuff i, I thought that ferrari style fit that car really really cool and then did the seats with the red Alcatara suede and the insert parts of the, that's the red and then the red uh, French seam and then we incorporated that same design into the doors it's got the three stripes on the doors out of the same Alcatara red uh, materials which look really cool and if you notice the doors they almost look stock we've reworked them things uh, tremendously we've got honestly a week's worth of work just getting those things ready to cover no kidding. Yeah, they, they've been uh, fitted to the dash, and uh, if you look when you open the doors, there's a real clean gap that we filled in all the way to the door door itself. So, you know, a lot of them old Corvettes, they got a real big gap in them. They just don't fit for nothing. So the, the top part, we made a ring around and built all that out, 3 d that, and put the LED lights in it, and then put um, some aluminum trim in that, and uh, just... Put the uh, Alcatara suede in the middle of the armrest part. Oh, okay. And, and that looks really good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so it's just a, it was a lot of preparation to get those door panels to where they even look like something when you're done with them. Tim built the center console and the dash area. Passenger side, those cars usually have a mat pocket in them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so Tim, he's got almost a week just making a glove box. Oh, wow. So, you know, just something simple right. is not simple. Right. You know, when you got to make all of the mechanisms and everything to make it work. So, you know, now when you look at it, it looks like it could have come factory with a glove box in it. But it's not factory. It took, it took a lot of time and a lot of work on this car. And then if you notice, it's got the late model touchscreen TV, you know, uh, radio in it. So all that's got to be modified and made. Just a lot of work. And it looked like Jeff had some cup holders CNC'd and the... Uh, little part that goes around the shifter boot and that was CNC so I don't know who they had to do that but it's that's a really cool touch that, that he brought with us with him and we incorporated all that into the interior right on no I'm laughing because if they go back to the glove box yeah no I thought that was stock yeah I thought I mean I just looked at that dash and thought to myself it's been wrapped in leather and it's been stitched you know but it's stock that's why we like to make cars where it looks like it could have come factory that way right but anybody that knows them know that it didn't come that way and i don't know nothing but cool so <laughs> i was just looking at the whole interior together and it wasn't anything that jumped out at me i did notice that the switch for the vent call vent or whatever is still in the top of the dash yeah that's actually the um, windshield wiper switch it's oh, been okay. modified and stuff it used to have a slide switch there but now they've modified it with a new switch it actually you turn it and the, the windshield wipers come on okay so yeah it's still got all of the original appeal to it but way modern right like the console it didn't have any any type of console like that in it from the factory there's just two pieces of cardboard with some uh, carpet on the side glued up to the side of it and it just so we've made all that it's got a armrest it flips up it actually has some window switches and not window switches but the uh, the hood switch and an automatic door locks it's got those switches in there and the led and then it's got a, a port in there to charge up telephones and you know a lot of the later model electronic touches, accessories yeah. and things like that and then in the back area underneath the convertible top and right in front of it noah built some six by nine speakers underneath there that goes all the way across so you got a good sound from the radio with six by nine because there's really nowhere to put any type of radio in those cars 
Yeah, Noah did a good job manufacturing something to put two six by nines in there, and then we put in the front on the dash. We we've got some uh, higher components uh, stereo speakers to put up there, and made the custom grill, made the custom grill for the uh, defroster out of the aluminum mesh, and that that looks really cool. So again, we try to make everything to where it is usable. Yeah, it's not gonna you know look like it's an aftermarket part put on the car. We try to make everything to where it looks like it just could have come that way. Right. So, you know, no, I think like you said, you were surprised with the dash. Yeah, so. yeah, no, it was one of them things that, like I said, I, I've become accustomed to leather wrap <laughs> dashes, and so now it's not blagé, but I just looked at it, and, and it looked so stock to me. I thought, yeah, they didn't do much to the dash <laughs> besides just wrap it and stitch it up. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of work into it. I mean, it, and that's what we, we try to do is just make it look just like what right. you looked at it. It's like, man, that, that's cool looking, you know, wrap, stock. Right, right. Wasn't even close to stock. No. Do you know anything about the car? I know it's got an LS3 motor in. It's got a late model drivetrain. It's got the big brakes. It's got big wheels and stuff on it. It's got an automatic transmission in it, power windows. Did they wide body it or has it been no, widened at all? You know, I'm not 100% sure, but it does have some pretty big wheels under it, but yeah. it's still got the convertible top area in it. Right. So I'm not exactly sure what Jeff did on that part to get those big wheels underneath there. So I, I do know it's all custom underneath the bottom of it and stuff so you know later model running right. gears and and all that stuff yeah as far as body modifications i don't know if he did a lot of the body modifications those fenders those fender flares just look like maybe they a little bigger in the wide. back yeah. i think the front ones are pretty stock there again i thought it came with a glove box so well, yeah. I know, you know yeah but no man absolutely killed it i really dig it i think the interior fits the rest of the car really well well thank you i appreciate it it's uh, it, the whole car looks really cool. I like the C3 Corvettes, um, especially the earlier models. You know, right. they just they're they're always going to have a special place for me because I just like them. I cars, do too, you know? man. I don't know why, boy. It wasn't like stock; they handled real well, or right. you know, well, like the '68, '69s, they came with real performance, but mm -hmm. most of that generation didn't, you know. And but I'm with you. I think that that's one of the coolest generations mm -hmm. of Corvettes, brother. I really think you and the boys knocked it out of the park. Scotty, I appreciate it again. We appreciate you coming out and doing these videos. They uh, get worldwide recognition, and you know people from all over the world actually call us because you know of what you do for us. And I, I thank you. I thank you for it. Now I appreciate y'all letting me come out and do it. So there you go from Steve Hulk and Pro Auto Custom Interiors, 1973 Chevrolet Corvette Convertible Speed Vet. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.